guys it's gabby welcome back to my channel so for today's video i partnered up with rebel nail to show you guys how you can do dip powder nails with tips right at home so yeah let's get right into the video okay so the first thing you want to do is push back your cuticles and i don't really have a buildup of cuticles right now so i'm just using this metal pusher but if you do have a good amount of cuticle on your nail then you can always use a cuticle remover a softener or even an e-file it's really just up to you so after you push back your cuticle you want to remove the shine from your nail so i I'm just going to be using a nail file to do this but again if you want to use an e-file you can do that too and you're just going to repeat these steps on every nail and if you're wondering why my nails are really short little nubs right now it's actually because i broke my middle nail and i was like you know what i'm just going to cut them all off but i mean i'm not even mad because now i can do short nail tutorials nail growth videos and just keep adding tips to my nails and things like that so yeah next i'm going to be grabbing my nail tips and i got these off of amazon it came in a two pack of natural and clear and I actually liked them. At first I was like, eh, because I realized I didn't have a well, but I feel like they were easier to work with for some reason. But anyways, you're just gonna take your tips and size them to your natural nail. So you don't want it too big like this where it's hanging off onto your skin, but you also don't want it too small to where it's actually not covering your nail from sidewall to sidewall. So if for some reason you aren't able to find one that fits, you can also just take a nail file and file it down a little bit so it fits your nail better. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Pro Base, and this is actually gonna be my glue for the nail tip, which I didn't even realize you could do, but Revel actually recommends this to their customers. So all I did was just apply it to the bottom of the nail tip and then place it on my nail. And they recommend holding it down for 30 seconds, but it actually stuck on pretty fast. Like, I was shocked. So you can use this, and you can also use nail glue if you feel more comfortable with that. It's pretty much gonna do the same thing. But after that, I did end up adding a little more of the Pro Base under underneath the nail tip I honestly I don't know why I did this I didn't do this on my other nails because I just felt like it was secure without that so yeah you're just gonna apply all of your tips and then I'm just taking the activator and putting it over where my nail meets the tip so that dries pretty quickly and then you can move on to shaping and filing and guys I really I don't like shaping and filing at all I just it takes too long so what I'm doing is taking some scissors and just cutting down the length of my nail I feel like I kept them kind of long I mean at least for me so I did that and then I'm just taking a nail file and going along the side of it just to sharpen it up a little bit honestly I don't even know what shape this is it's kind of it's almost a coffin but more like a tapered square I don't know either way I didn't want to do any shaping so I was just going with this but I actually think it turned out cute so anyways I'm just taking the nail file and removing the shine from the tip and then I'm also kind of blending it into my natural nail and when you do this you don't want to file onto your natural nail just try to focus on the actual nail tip and yeah I'm just gonna repeat this on all of my nails and then move on to the next step Next, I'm going to be taking this dusting brush and just wiping away the filings. And this is what I'm going to be using to dust off my dip powder nails too. And actually, all of the tools that I'm using are from a toolkit that Revel has, so I'll link that below too. So after that, I'm going to be dehydrating my nail. And I am using rubbing alcohol to do this, but I know you guys may not be able to find that right now. So you can also use acetone or just a normal nail dehydrator. And you're just going to apply that to the part where your natural nail is. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Pro Base and a clear dip powder for the next step. And all I'm going to do is apply the Pro Base to about three-fourths of my nail and then while that's still wet I'm gonna dip it into the clear powder and when you do this you want to make sure you're applying your pro base thin and as even as you can and then you also want to make sure if you get any on your skin that you wipe it off before you go to dip that is like the biggest thing because you don't want a bunch of dip powder like stuck to your skin so I'm just gonna repeat that on all of my nails and then lightly dust off the excess powder and when you go to dust off I would do it after it's been sitting for about a minute because you don't want to dust it off too early and then it just like wipe off into the brush so i'm going to be using the shade aloha for these nails and i'm going to be taking the pro base again and applying it to i would say probably like 96 percent of my nail because i didn't go all the way down just because i didn't want the cuticle area to get too thick so after i applied it i'm just going to dip it into the powder and then flip my finger over and tap off the excess and you can use your finger to tap your finger or brush Honestly, anything works. And then you just move on to the next nail. So one thing I noticed is these nails are actually pretty long for the jar. And it was kind of hard to kind of dip at a 45 degree angle like I wanted to. So I ended up pouring some dip powder into the lid and then pouring it on top instead. And I like this method so much better. So if you are doing nails with tips, I would definitely recommend this. And it just, I don't know, 
it makes life so much easier so again same thing you're gonna flip it over tap off the excess and then use the brush to wipe off the excess powder also when you're doing dip powder nails I would put a paper towel down because it does get a little messy and this is just gonna make cleanup so much easier so after that I am going a little bit further down with the pro base this time and then I'm just gonna repeat the steps pour the powder over and tap off the excess and when you're using dip powder you want to work on one nail at a time so like don't apply the pro base to two fingers because then you risk having one dry and then it won't dip right and then you'll just be sad so just work on one finger at a time and then yeah that's pretty much it so with this color and the length of my nails I ended up doing three to four dips of the color I felt like after the third coat on a few nails I could still see a few spots where it needed a little more color so again this is going to depend on how long your nails are and what shade you're using but either way it doesn't take that much longer to do an extra coat this is actually my first time using tips with dip powder but I like that you can have it a little bit thicker just because the length is longer so you don't have to worry about it getting bulky as fast you know and guys I seriously love this color like my lighting was being really weird while I was filming but it's kind of I would say like a peachy neon kind of shade it's kind of it looks different in different lighting which I will show you guys later either way I feel like this is such a pretty color for spring and summer and I feel like it could look good on pretty much anybody actually I don't know I don't know why I said neon I feel like it's not like super neon-y but it is pretty bright it's okay again it's a pretty color so these are my nails after the three to four coats I didn't do a final coat of dipping my nails into the clear powder which I would actually recommend doing because it's gonna protect the color when you go to file but honestly I just forgot to do it but I didn't end up filing much anyway so it was fine moving on you're gonna grab your activator and apply this to all of your nails and then let it dry for about two minutes and then after this you can shape and file your nails however you want and this is what's gonna harden your nails so don't try to file without doing this step because then you're gonna be filing against like a mushy nail and it just it won't be fun so next I'm gonna be taking a file and running across the free edge of my nail and I'm just going straight across and then going again up the sides just to kind of make that a little bit neater so at this step is where you also want to file around your cuticle just so you don't have that bubbly effect and just anywhere else where it needs to be smoothed down I was actually pretty happy with my application so I only ended up filing along the free edge in the sides and then I'm just gonna be using a buffing block just to smooth out the rest of my nail so this step is why you should end with applying the pro base and then dipping it into the clear powder because again you don't want to accidentally file too much to where you're removing the dip color because I've done it before it's actually really easy to do also side note these tips I used are more on the thinner side but I feel like with the dip powder they feel really sturdy like I didn't have an issue with them feeling like they're gonna break or anything and that's also why I didn't want to do a lot of filing because again I don't like filing but also I didn't want to have long thin nails because I just feel like that wouldn't be durable at all so here I'm taking the buffing block and again just going over my nails and you want to make sure you end with a buffing block even if you do file your nails smooth because you want to get out any scratches that the filing may have left because you don't want those to show when you go to apply your top coat. So after that you're going to rinse your hands off with water, no soap, and then take the activator one more time and apply that to all of your nails. And this time you're going to wait for about a minute and then you're going to take a lint-free paper towel, a lint-free wipe, or a makeup sponge and actually wipe off your nail and this is an important step that you do want to do because you don't want your top coat getting all gooey and weird like I don't really know how it works but it does mess up your top coat okay guys we're almost done so now we're gonna move on to the finishing gel and we're actually gonna be applying two coats of this so for the first coat you want this to be really quick only two to three strokes and you want to make sure you cap your free edge and you just do this by taking the brush and sliding it across the edge of your nails so this doesn't have to be perfect you just want it to be quick and you're gonna let this dry for about a minute and then go in with your second coat so for the second coat you do want to be little more precise with this make sure your nail is completely covered but you also don't want to go back over the same spot too many times because I found that if you over brush it gives that weird gooey effect and it messes up your top coat so try to be careful without having to keep fixing it and you'll be good so after you do that your nails will dry pretty quickly it says about two minutes but I normally wait 10 just because I just get paranoid that something's gonna happen so yeah after that you are done and my nails have been struggling this entire video I don't know if you guys noticed but my skin around my nails 
between washing my hands, using hand sanitizer, cold weather, acetone, like they're just nasty. So I'm gonna finish off with some cuticle oil and let that soak in a little bit. That is how you do dip powder nails with tips and here is the final look. And I know it seems like a ton of steps, but I promise you guys it does go by fast. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.